It's a cold boat ride on an early March morning, but this little red-headed angler is all smiles. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just pop that in either one of those rod holders back there. Lance McLean and Chris are my partners for the day. If you catch a good size one though, they're one of the tastiest fish you can eat. For two years, Lance has been mentoring Chris through Chattanooga's Big Brother Big Sister program. Lance's mission in life is to share new experiences with his little brother. I've always wanted kids. I haven't been blessed with any yet, so I just decided maybe I'll just spend some time mentoring and it's the best thing I've done. Hey, see that? Yeah, that's a blue heron. It's trying to blend in. Well, actually, he's just trying to catch fish, probably. <laughs> the heron and Chris have the same goal in mind. He has never caught a fish. Oh. Have we're going to change that today. We're catching at least one fish, aren't we? We're in the Wolf Teaver Creek section of Chickamauga Lake, a place some crappie anglers call Tennessee's best kept secret. The long line trolling technique we're using will catch crappie on just about any lake in the state. Come over here and reel it in. Now, if you take your right hand and put it up close to the reel, it's a little easier to hold. There you go. It's not a big crappie but even a little first fish brings a monster smile. And we got this little measure. We pop them right down in here and see where it says 10 right there? His tail has to touch that line. And if it doesn't, he's too small and we have to throw him back and let him grow up. Can I throw him out? Of course. Bye fish. It didn't take Chris long to figure that part out. <laughs> Lance is sneaking one in on you. Lance's grandfather first took him fishing on Old Hickory Lake 25 years ago. He says it taught some important lessons. Just in life, being patient and stuff, the patience I've learned from fishing has, has helped me in other aspects, mm -hmm. definitely. You want a yellow and a blue one? But trolling the right lures on Chickamauga Lake. Hey, it's stepping backwards. It's stepping backwards. You're right, it is. You don't usually have to be too patient. Oh, wait, it's 10 inches. Does his tail touch yeah. the 10? Looks yeah. like we got a keeper, Chris. Good job. Most fish in Wolf Teaver Creek seem small, so we decide to move to the main lake near deeper water. <coughs> Never forget that for kids, fun doesn't always equal fishing. And besides, it seems to have been a pretty smart move. Oh, no, that's a bass. No, that's a good size crappie. Oh, good job. <laughs> that is a keeper. I'm to get these. That's a good 11 inch. When trolling, it's important to outfit your fishing rods with the same size line and lures. You got one? Yes, sir. That way, once you find the right pattern, match tackle and a consistent speed on the GPS, guarantee that you can repeat the productive process every time. Yeah, this one's a big one. It's fighting. You oh, you got a, a catfish. Yeah, got a catfish. And those are good. And obviously, you often catch other kinds of fish. You made my whole hand red. <laughs> <laughs> made your hand red. <laughs> good job. Good job, Chris. You Open good? that thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. This one's giant. All right. Most anglers agree that the 10 inch size limit on crappie has helped produce better quality and more consistent crappie fishing. Who's his biggest? Chris's. The end result is more fun on the water and more fish in the freezer. I'm Richard Sims on Tennessee's Wild Side.